Okay, welcome back. Before we get started, hit that like button and subscribe. All right, welcome back. I'm coming back at you with another product review. All right, and today what I have is the Blink Outdoor Solar Panel Security Kit. Now, I've been shopping around for uh, different um, security cameras, and um, I decided to take a shot on the Blink. So what I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to be doing an unboxing, and I'm just going to give you my take on the Blink. So let's get into it. Okay, welcome back. All right. So as you can see, I already dug into the box. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you everything that comes with this kit. Now, I purchased the kit off of Amazon and you definitely going to need a blink sync module. Make sure that you get the blink module two when you're purchasing the, the this unit. Um, it will not work if you do not have a module, keep that in mind. So when you first get this, this uh, unit, of course you're gonna get the blank here. Now, the blank is gonna come with two lithium AA batteries, which, are, which is pretty good. Um, these are not rechargeable batteries. You're gonna get your, you know, this is the black back plate to the, to the uh, blank, and this is your key. Now this slot, this little cover here, it's, it has a rubber cover that you have to pop off. You pop that off to access, then you will get your little screwdriver that's already in the box. Um, then you have an option to go without the uh, housing itself. This is a you know wall mount. You just pop that onto the back and you can swivel that like so. This is also included. Um, now, this is the Blink solar panel housing. Now, this has a 21 milliamp rechargeable battery in the back. Now, when you first get it, it has that plastic little strip that um, you would pull out. That way, this unit, the battery can start charging itself up. If you do not pull that plastic um, uh, clip out, you will not, the battery inside of here will not charge. The blink will not charge the batteries up in here. It is charging the batteries up inside the housing. Keep that in mind. And the reason why you have these batteries in here is just an emergency backup to keep this sucker working. All right, so, and you also get a um, wall mount for this blink. You see the four slots here? And then you would get your mount. You can, you know, get your screws and your drill. And you would put your plate up on there first, and then you would hang it on on the wall. Now like this so. here is the plate. If you're not getting enough sunlight on where you stage your blank, you can take. You have the option here to see. You can pop that off, and then you can move this. This um solar panel to a different position and then you would put your plate over top of the open space not the panel the open space but this just pops back on let's get that back down on there if i can get it give me one second here did i get it on there give me one second you don't even see it. All right, so that's back on there like so. Now, once you get, um, that's basically everything that comes with the blank, everything that comes in there. Now, keep in mind, when, I, when you purchase this blank unit, you have to get the module. Make sure you include the module with your solar panel kit. It will not work. So they, they do have this system on Amazon for $64.99. It was actually on sale. The going price for all three, un, all three um, units was uh, $69.99. Then they had a little sale with $64.99. But you have to get the Blink 2 module. Now, once you get everything out the box and you want to get this thing going, 
you have to download the Blink app. Now, once you download the Blink app and you register, you know, do the blah, 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 blah. Then it's going to ask you to um, scan your module. It's going to scan. You get your phone. And you want to scan that code, barcode there. And then once you scan that barcode, it's going to ask to add a um, an add-on, basically your camera. So you're going to... Let me zoom that in. You're going to scan that little barcode there, and it's going to sync everything onto the app. Now, once you got everything onto the app, you're going to update it, and you're going to see um, it's going to tell you how long is it updating, this and that, blah, blah, blah. We all know, you know, a couple of minutes is not a lot. Um, so once you got everything installed, see the back of here you put your batteries in then you would screw this down with the screwdriver that comes with it I'm not sure if I included this but yeah you screw that down like so and you see that little slot there you would I don't know if you guys can see that but you would definitely let me get that in there. Which way do I got it? Okay, so it's like this. All right, so that goes in there like that. Let me see if y'all can see it. So it goes in there like that. And then you would make sure to sit. Let me get this right. Make sure. See that the motion sensor sits upright, and then you would just pop that in there. Don't be scared to push it in there, don't be scared to push that in there. So, you're going to be sitting like this, like so. And then you got the option to swivel this unit now on the specs, it says. The motion detection is about 20 feet. That is false. I'm telling you right now, that is false, man. You, I got detection out to 40, 50 feet, man. You can adjust the sensitivity on the uh, app. Um, you can check the battery. Um, it doesn't give you the percentage of the battery. That's the only thing. It just says, okay. And it says, for the battery. It doesn't give you the percentage or nothing like that. So maybe in a future update, they'll add that on. Um, it does give you the option to change the settings and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So what I'm gonna do now, also, the mount, when, when you get this mount, when you get the mount, if you wanna mount it somewhere, right? So like if you have vinyl siding, make sure you pick up these clips. Let me show you. Now this does not come with the blink I wanted something, I just wanted to try these clips out, and these clips here, as you can see, these clips here, these are vinyl sliding clips, the Blink has two, um, two on the, on the back plate, like say, that, okay, say if this is the back plate, the Blink has two holes, one up top, one down the bottom, I just use one hole and you would screw it in there like so you know screw the hole i mean screw the uh screw through the the um, back panel and then it will screw into here and then you would take this and then it will go i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about far as go clipping onto your vinyl side if you wanted to go that route but yeah i picked these clips off of amazon so i'm going to show you how these clips work all right, so that's basically it far as setting your camera up. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna show you a little um, slide of the um, controls and um, yeah, show you the picture quality. All right, be right back. On your menu screen, you do have um, the option to check your external power. It has the temperature. Um, you can enable the motion detection. 
Now you have the zone right here and you can actually take a picture and then you would actually click on the, the uh, blocks where you would like the 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 motion de detection to pick up the zones. You have your re-trigger time, then you have your sensitivity um, where you would like that motion, you know, how sensitive you want that motion detection. Then you have your clip length. I have it down to five sec seconds. You can adjust this all the way up to 60 seconds as you see there and then it says choosing longer clip duration may impact the battery life so I'm gonna just take it back down to five as you can see that and then you have your early notification and then you can just you can adjust your IR intensity now if I take I did notice if I take it up to high um, gives you better uh, view as far as uh, nighttime that nighttime view um, audio you can adjust the audio in the speaker then you have your um, picture quality I do have it on standard and um, yeah and then you can actually check for updates right here and this is your, your Wi-Fi and so on and so on alright so let's move on okay welcome back now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you how you would use these clips if you if you were uh, if you wanted to install it on vinyl siding without drilling any holes or um, anything like that so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn this camera over and as you see here this is just say this is your vinyl siding you would find where you can you know snap the vinyl the vinyl siding snaps in that you would you know what I did was I kind of um, I bent this a little more so it can give it a little more grip. So you would actually slide that under and it would clip on. It would latch on like so. Now this um, kit does come with a, um, a mount where you can take the, um, the camera itself out the housing. That's what the lithium battery batteries are for also. If you did not want to use the, the um, solar panel housing and then you can slip that under there like so and then you can slide these two together and then you can mount the two um, you can mount the um, other the small mount on onto, on onto these uh, clips that's how that works what I what I did was I didn't want to, um, since this was a test, I didn't want to uh, drill any holes. So I actually installed it in the front of uh, the house using these clips here. So I'm actually doing the clip review and also doing the, the product review of the camera. So I'm going to show you some short clips of the camera um, in the daylight and then the nighttime um, feature. Like I said, you can adjust that IR. Um, lighting to get better picture quality. Now I only have it on standard. So let's jump right into it. Okay, welcome back. Okay, one of the things I did not disclose was the Blink um, does have two-way audio. Also, what I did not uh, show in the video was um, when I adjusted the um, IR setting, the picture quality at night was a lot clearer. I was able to see images a lot clearer when I adjusted the IR setting to high. But keep in mind, when you adjust the IR setting, you're going to drain that battery. So I just left it, you know, on standard. I mean, now here's my final take on the Blink. I mean, the Blink is not a bad entry level camera compared to the high, some of the high-end cameras. I mean, there's some improvement. Um, I wish the Blink would have, would have had um, the module in one complete camera. That way, you know, because you can't operate the Blink without this module. Um, the functions on the Blink needs an upgrade um, that tells you the uh, battery life and just small things like that, man. But from... Um, one to ten, I would give the blank a seven. I would give it a seven because it's not a bad camera. It's, I mean, sixty four ninety nine. 
All right, so that's my take on the blink. I'm out. Hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Wait, 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 wait. I can't let y'all go right now. I got to show you something. All right, so we know that the um, winter is upon us. You're going to get pops. You may, in some areas, you may get power failure. Um, so make sure you guys are getting blankets, batteries. And speaking of batteries, let me show you something. I came across a rechargeable battery kit. You can see this here. You got your C batteries, D batteries, uh, AAA batteries, and AA. I will leave the link if you are interested in purchasing batteries. And let me show you something here. All right. Now, as far as the the um, the D batteries, how this how this works, right? Now, this is a D battery. You see that? That's a D. And you're saying, well, wait a minute. Where's the rest? You will get your AA battery, and then you would pop that in there like so. You see that? Now that's your D battery. Um, and so on and so on. You would get that in there like that. See that? And pop that in there, man. I just figure, you know, anyone that's looking for a, um, a uh, rechargeable battery kit, man, it's not a bad, not a bad price. Uh, I think I got this off of, I'm pretty sure I got it off of Amazon for, um, I think it was $24.99. But I'll leave the link on where you can purchase it at. I mean, the price, um, I think it's $24.99, but I'm pretty sure. But you do get, um, you also get the C battery. Like I said, you just pop that, uh, uh, um, you would pop a double A battery inside of there like so. And then you will get your, see that? Now that's your C battery. All right, guys. I'll leave the link on where you can buy that. And I'm definitely out. Hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.